What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And I'm here to bring you some more gameplay. I feel like I say the same thing every time I come onto this map. I feel like I do. But it's the truth. I really think this map, Anakin, is the best map in the game. I mean, it's not my favorite map, that's Valley. But the best map in the game for, you know, a new player, if not an average experienced player, it's going to be Anakin. For, you know, an aggressive player, it's obviously going to be Battery or Fisk. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's just my opinion. But like I said, I really think the devs did a good job with this map right here. I think they did. And also, um, I'm going to turn around, I'm going to spot somebody. Or try to spot somebody right here. There he is. Yeah, you can tell your boy been playing the game a bit too long, because when you start doing shit like that, that's when you go out, need to go outside and touch some grass or snow if it's rain if it's uh, snowing outside. But yeah, now I know I said that you know I need to go outside and touch some grass, but look, I'm right. You see that? That's him porting me, and you know I'ma speak on that right there. If somebody uses a port at the very start of the match, that just tells me A, they're afraid and they're relying on their ports to guide them, or B, or and or B, they don't know the map. Not really the map, not the map, more like they don't know spawn points. Because if you're using a port at the start of the match, you're obviously trying to find a person who's nearest to you. Obviously. But my thing is this. At least as far as today, which is June 6th, spawn points don't move. They don't change. I mean, sure, they may differ depending on how many people are in a lobby. They may. Like, instead of spawning... Okay, let me, let me put it to you like this. Spawn A and spawn C are there when there's a lot of people in a match. But if there's nobody in the match, then the game will put you in spawn point B. In other words, between two spawn points. That's what I discovered. So all I'm, t all I'm trying to say to you is this. If you spawn in one spot, and then you die, come back onto the same map, and you spawn in another spot, then, obviously, you just learn two different spawn points. Obviously. So, it is what it is. Just memorize where you spawned at. But I'm done talking about not talking about that now. I'm coming up here and walking straight past container and do not get shot at, which is quite odd on Anakin. Quite odd. And I also like this map because it's always bright. I mean sure you get nighttime Anakin, but guess what? It don't really matter. It really don't. I can still do shit like this. Yeah, I say this time and time again, but as soon as you see somebody, you can track him down and you can get him. And luckily for me, this guy had a nice little secondary as well, a PA. And I say a nice secondary because check this out. If I'm aiming at somebody from across the map with my LD6, and if they look well enough, they can see my glint. But if I, if I aim with the PA, there is no glint. The trade-off is I can't see as well. But the tiny bit of zoom that our set of weapons have, it's helping. Or it can help. Not a lot, but anything is better than nothing. You feel me? So, there's a competition back here. And nobody used it. Which is odd, because I just killed somebody coming from this way. What does that tell me? That tells me that somebody didn't see the other person. Because, once again, I know someone spawned back here. Watch this.
listen. There is a very, and I mean very specific reason as to why I took the path that I did. I took the path that I did because I could hear people in houses. But what made me hear this guy? You know those blue boxes with ammunition and a caffeine pill and other shit in there too? Every time you tick on one of those combination locks, it gives away a sound. And I heard that tick. And I know my stuff when it comes to this game for the most part, like 20%. Blue boxes are only on the second floors of houses. I mean, I know, I said about 20%, meaning I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay, so boom, I picked I pick up the phone. Great. Where is, uh, where's the guy? Well, it's Anakin. I don't gotta look far. And he don't gotta look far as well to find me. I'm gonna do something here that I don't suggest y'all do. I'm gonna run out in the open and try to draw this fire.
know where you are. Now, if all my other mortar strikes can act just like this one, I'll be 5% happier in this game. 5. That worked out. But here's the, here's the thing, right? I wouldn't have got that guy unless the fifth guy that I killed was here. Because he forced him up that lighthouse. But Jet, why didn't the fifth guy go into the lighthouse? I pause because you're hearing the reason why he's not going into the lighthouse. My phone duel from the re this is a recap. My phone duel picked up the phone, then I picked up the phone. And he saw me, he tried to shoot, suppressing fire type shit, I guess. Then he realized, "Oh shit, he's coming for me. I got to move." And so he barricaded himself in that lighthouse. And some way, somehow, my fifth kill ran into my phone duel, and that created even more chaos for him. Homeboy was either going to die on that lighthouse due to radiation, or due to me. One of the two. Or, actually, the third option would be him, him killing me, because, you know, the height advantage. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering, Jet, why are you running back into the field? Remember that, uh, the time safe that went off? Yeah, I was thinking about being greedy, but you can clearly see my threat icon is steady white, which means there is no one else left in the lobby. Shout out to the viewer that told me that because that has been so helpful the past few weeks. But yeah, is there anything you can take away from this video? Anything at all? Well, I'll tell you this much. If you want to get better at spotting people, try Anakin. Also, just because you barricade yourself in the house, does not mean you're safe. It don't. That's why the devs put in two things. Mortar strikes, and radiation grenades. And I mean, I might be tooting my horn a bit too much here. Your boy did get lucky with that mortar strike. I did get extremely lucky. But, the luck wouldn't have happened if I didn't put the mortars exactly where I thought he was. And here's something that I do that I kind of don't really talk about. It's helping to, well, it'll help you to line up your camera with your phone duel. And that way you'll get a better guesstimation of where they're at. I knew dude was on top of that lighthouse, but I didn't know where he was exactly. You know what I'm saying? And sure, an LD5 might would have killed him, but, you know, mortar is kind of forced somebody to go back inside the house. And he had two people waiting for him. Two people. Myself and a guy with a motion. Guys, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Until then, peace.